What is up YouTube? It's your boy Charlie Matthews. Today I just want to discuss about my first modeling experience in the Philippines, the good and the bad. So you know I did a story time uh, my overall trip in South Korea, the good and the bad, and my confidence was probably at the lowest point because I didn't make any money and I didn't really get any experience. So my agent convinced me to go to the Philippines, just like, you know, give it a try, stay out there for about two months. So I was like, okay, let's do it. So as soon as I arrived to the Philippines, the weather was just like LA, 80, 90 degrees every day. So I stripped off my coat, wore a t-shirt. Uh, it just felt absolutely amazing. So during that time, because it's a lot different now, when you go to castings, it was like the same thing as South Korea where there would be a call time where we have to meet at the agency, then all the models would get into the car, somebody would take us to all the casting stuff because back then there was no Ubers, there was no Lyfts, and if you would take a taxi, they like to rip off the tourists. Unless you're a local, if you're going somewhere like a local, but they tend to jack the prices up. But, um, you know, we had a designated like transportation, like a van. So that was like a lot of the parts that I really enjoyed, but of course, uh, going to the castings. And so my first modeling job that I booked there was for SM. It was uh, two days for SM. First day was clothes and the second day was underwear. And Elite knew that I loved food. And so the second day, SM brought a box of Krispy Kreme donuts. And I go to the table. I ate a half a dozen before we started the underwear shoot. And so I ended up adopting the name, the Krispy Kreme guy. And then of course, over time, SM kept booking me. They kept bringing me cakes, donuts, everything, because they know I love sweets. And once, you know, once I started like work, a lot more over time I started to build up more confidence and then we got into the fashion shows I kid you not these fashion shows were like next level I don't know I'm not sure if they uh, do these kind of fashion shows today but my call time would be at like five six seven o'clock in the morning and we would just rehearse the entire day and the show wouldn't start till 8 o'clock, but 90% of the shows that we done, it was late. Like we would start 8.30 or 9, and then we'd wrap up, then we go to like an event after, then the next day it's just like a repeat. It was exhausting, but it was just a lot of waiting backstage, and you can't go outside the perimeter of where the fashion show is, because they have to have everybody there. And, uh, you know, me as a foodie, they, like, you know, a lot of the clients would order like Jollibee, it would be like a cup of rice um, with, um, I don't know, those like, those sandwiches, um, the cheeseburger, like one of those, I, I don't know what you call it, but it was good, but you know, I could definitely feel in my body because I didn't really work out as much because then again, I was working so much there, which is, I am absolutely blessed, but the best part was um, that I really enjoyed was shooting the editorials. And this one editorial called Garage Magazine, it does not exist anymore. But they would take us out on these, some of the most exotic locations. But check this out. At the time, I didn't go to Barakai, Palawan, Shargao, or any of those places. It was all in like outside of Manila because you know my first trip there, I was like, I want to go to Brock Island Palm because a lot of you know the locals would talk about is like you have to go, but I couldn't because you know I didn't really have time because I was working a lot back then. But we ended up go to like Topanga. It's one of the active volcanoes outside of Manila, but we stayed at like the most like amazing resorts. And that was also like a great thing about shooting editorials is you get to shoot at the most like beautiful locations. The bad experience about the Philippines, I didn't really have a bad experience. However, I love food and the clients fed me some really good food and I just started to gain more weight. 
And the thing is, I did do a FaceTime with my agent because uh, he broke the news that I am going to be heading to New York City in three weeks. And I was completely out of shape. I signed with IMG back then, which was one of the biggest agencies in New York uh, at the time. And they want to take me in, they want to see some digitals, and I was like, no, I have to get in shape once I get back to LA. But, um, you know, Philippines was definitely the market that set the bar high for me, and I definitely did go visit uh, the Philippines this uh, past year, and I ended up staying there for four months to reunite with everybody. And I'm looking forward to going back soon and share some more memories because if it wasn't for the Philippines, who knows where I'll be today because that's how it started. So anyways, thank you guys for watching my YouTube channel. I'll see you next time. Peace.